The tur- the turd. <laughs> the third change of speed effect is reverse. And you just gotta think of it in the same way that we did for fast forward. So you can put anything in reverse, but when you're filming something on purpose to put in reverse, then put a little thought into it. To me, the best reverse videos are ones that are basically like a chemical change or a physical change happens. Essentially showing something that may otherwise be impossible. It could even be just something as simple as eating a cookie. So in regular motion, you eat it, the cookie's gone. But in reverse, oh, the cookie comes out of your mouth and it's whole again. And just so you know, when I talk about putting a little thought into it, I mean things like this. So in reverse, this clip looks like my son's just waving his hand back and forth and boom, a sand castle is made. But if we look at how I filmed it, if I go back to the start of this clip and we watch it in regular order, so not in reverse, you can see that I start by having his hands presenting the castle because that's going to be the last thing that you see. And then when I push play, I had him, you know, just go through and destroy the castle, wipe on the ground to kind of clear the area. And then he's going to get up and walk out backwards. So you see at the end here, he got up and walked out backwards. That's regular motion. So now when we watch it in reverse, he's going to walk in forwards. So that's what it looks like. Then he's gonna wipe his hand across and build that sandcastle. And at the very end, he's gonna present with his hands to be like, look, I'm done. One other thing to consider is things in your background. So even though this shot looks good, if I watch it in reverse here, my son takes this broken stick and repairs it. And he's like, yeah. So this is what I would have started with if we go in reverse of the reverse. So I started by filming him kind of cheering like, yeah, look, I fixed this stick and you go in reverse and then he broke it. But what I didn't notice when I was filming this is these people walking. So if somebody is walking forwards, when you put the clip in reverse, it kind of ruins the effect because now they're walking backwards, kind of making people go, oh, this is just a reverse clip. Now, as far as editing goes, putting something in reverse is actually very simple. All you have to do is right click on the clip that you want to put in reverse, go up to speed slash duration and click on this little box right here, reverse speed and click OK. Now you can see that the water is going back out into the ocean instead of coming at us. But let me show you a couple other things too. If you notice, if we right click and go back into speed duration, you can see slow-mo and fast forward up here. So if we increase this speed to 200%, we can obviously make the reverse go really fast. And if we right click, go into speed duration and change this to 50% as an example, you can see that the reverse is now in slow-mo. But if I undo everything I've done so far, so now the clip is playing in the normal direction that it started, I'm gonna also show you how to do the boomerang effect where it goes forward and then woo, and then boomerangs backwards. So for that, all you have to do is find the spot that you want the clip to start going in reverse, then go to the end of the clip so you have this red like arrow thing, trim it right down, then just hold Alt, click on your clip and drag it out. So now you have a copy and then now just apply the reverse to the second half here. So I'm going to right click, go up to speed slash duration, reverse speed, click OK. Now when we watch it, it's going to go forward up to this point and then boomerang backwards. And just so you know, any clip that you put in reverse, especially ones that are in slow motion or fast forward, can be really hard for your computer to play back. If that's the case, I'm going to show you two things that you can do. There's other things, but I'm going to show you two. You can go right here and click this little drop down and change the playback to a quarter or an eighth quality instead of on full. That might help. But the best thing to do would be to go to the start of where your clip is and hit I on the keyboard to put an in point, go to the end or at least past the end, hit O to mark out. That'll create an in and an out point, like a range right there. Then just go up to sequence and down to render into out, click on that. This window is gonna come up. It might take some time to render your clip, but you'll see this yellow line right here, or maybe yours is red. That'll eventually turn to green when this is done, and then it'll be easier for your computer to play the clip back. For other change of speed videos like slow motion, fast forward, or frame hold, make sure to check out the videos linked in the description below or the ones on the screen right now.